Welcome back, and in today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to fix the problem when WhatsApp status doesn't seem to be playing sound. So when you watch WhatsApp status videos and they're not playing sound like this, and even when you try to increase the volume, no sound is coming out even though you know that video has sound. So I'll be showing you how to fix that problem. Now, I'll be using an iPhone for this demonstration, but you can apply the same technique or the same fixes to Android phones as well. So the first thing I want you to check is if you're running the latest version of WhatsApp. Okay, so go to your respective app store. That's the Apple app store for iPhone users and the Google Play store for Android users. So just go there and look for WhatsApp. And open the WhatsApp messenger app. And if you have an update pending, it should see update. And that tells you you're not running the latest version. So go ahead and update your WhatsApp app to make sure you're running the latest version. Once it's updated, you can now tap on open to relaunch WhatsApp like that. And then now you can try again. So let's go to the same video. Try to increase the volume. If that still doesn't work, then you can go to uh, the settings of your phone and clear the cache for WhatsApp. Okay, so on iPhone, go to settings. Under settings, go to general. Under general, go to iPhone storage and then look for WhatsApp. Now, Android users have a more straightforward way of clearing cache for apps. You can just go to the apps section, go to WhatsApp and tap on a button to clear cache. But for iPhone users, you have to go through this process. And then once you open WhatsApp, simply tap on offload app. That's going to offload the app. And then once the offload is complete, you can now tap on reinstall app. And that's going to clear all the cache and reinstall the app. Once it's done, now go ahead and close all other apps and then try to launch WhatsApp one more time. And now this time, let's go ahead and look at the same status. And if that still doesn't work, then go ahead and restart your phone. Okay. So, for iPhone users, it's pretty straightforward. Just go ahead and switch off, and then I'll turn it back on after a couple of seconds. So even if you have an Android phone, just go ahead and restart. And with the phone restarted, now that should fix your problem. So at least one of those methods should help you fix your problem. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.